Hey guys, so first off, I know the video looks a bit weird, sorry, I'm kind of working on fixing that, but it's uh, new software, I'm still not used to it, and so hopefully that'll be fixed in the next video, but uh, I've been gone for a month, I've been playing this game a lot, and so let's look at all the progress I made, so first off, I've worked a lot on comp, and I'm pretty close now, I did about two thirds of the requirements I had left, did all of the arc requirements, most of the priftiness requirements, and this is what I'm at now. I just need like livid, uh, 120s, a few quests, uh, priftiness, task set, and that's it. So I'm working on that, really excited. Then next up, I wanted to do raids. I might have mentioned this before, I'm not sure. So one of my goals is a final boss title, and to get that, you need 100 KC on all of the new bosses that have come out since I had the title. So that means God Wars Dungeon 2, Raids, Telos, and Angel of Death. So I have been working a bit on that. I have 9 Yaka kills and 14 Beastmaster kills. So I bought the regular Primeval mask and boots, and then I got the Acto gloves, and I actually got two Codexes too, which is pretty nice. That's um, it's like an extra 25 mil or something in loot, which is helpful, I guess. I've been doing kills almost daily, but... Uh, obviously not quite because it's been a month and I have nine Yaka KC. It's pretty tough to find a team. So I actually joined uh, this clan. It's called Shatter. They are, I think it's a 2500 plus clan. And it's pretty decent. I, I like them well enough, I guess. Um, and so... I've been doing raids, like I mentioned, got my Acto, and so because I have three pieces, I have the chance for defensive resets, which is nice. And then the last thing I did since I last made a video was I perked out some of my gear. So I have Precise 5 Equilibrium 2, I have um, whatever that's called, Impatient 3 and Crackling 3, and then I have Enhanced Devoted 3 and then Biting 2 Mobile, Mobile? I don't know. And so my perks are decent. They're obviously not uh, top tier. I don't have Aftershock 3. I don't have a Planted Feet Switch. don't have Biting 3. But they're good enough um, for a PVM or on a budget. Uh, so I got my perks. I was comping. And I had my friend, uh, Hood Blaster. And he was at like 65 yeah, um, Telos KC. And he got a Dormant Staff which is like 1.2 bill and it was like what that's crazy that's so lucky dang you know wish i had a staff and then he also got like an orb and a pet in the 100 kills after that which was super lucky but now he's at 500 kills and he didn't get anything since then so that kind of sucks then i have shatter slug and i kid you not in the exact same week within like two days of each other he got a staff and it was like what like you actually can't be serious there's no way and so he got a staff. He actually got an orb since then too, I think. He might have gotten two. I think just one though. And so I was like, you know what? I need to do Telos. I got to get in on this billionaire action. And so as you can see, because I forgot to put them away, but oh well, um, I got all three orbs. So, and I'm currently at 135 kills. So if we look at this, um, here's my first orb. I just took screenshots because that's what's convenient. Uh, five kill streak, 165 in range, you know, regular pro, whatever. Um, then it was actually my first kill of the day yesterday. So these were, um, this was at like 96 KC, which was two days ago. Then the day after I got this, it was my first kill of the day. It was at like 105 KC. There were like 10 kills apart. It was crazy lucky. And then today, about like 30 kills later, I got the final orb and I was really concerned that I'd have just like one or two orbs. And then I'd be like my friend and go drive for, you know, 300 kills. Um, but fortunately, that didn't happen. So uh, to provide a little bit of context, these three orbs together, um, if we click on it and show you, it uh, brings up this interface to craft a, um, this is a tier 92 weapons. Uh, and so the most profitable one is the staff. And so once I get the dormant one, I'm just going to be borrowing it from a borrowing the money for it from a friend. Uh, I can craft it. The dormant staff costs about 1240 mil and the staff of Sliske um, costs. Uh, it's about like 2.5 to 2.6 bill. 
So I'm expecting about the um, 1.3 bill profit from my orbs, which is pretty cool because I have a 19 mil cash stack. <laughs> I've been PVMing with C singers like, ooh, not good. Uh, but I have my three orbs. I'm really excited about that. I'm currently at 135 Telos kills, uh, max in rage of 222%. I could definitely go higher than that, but I just haven't really pushed in rage yet because when I'm pushing in rage, I'm not getting drops. I'm just dying. <laughs> Uh, but I got all my three orbs. I'm really happy about that. And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to be uh, getting probably seismics, going to get some new perks, get the Amulet of Souls. Um, I'm sure there's other stuff I'm forgetting. I might be getting one of the new prayers because those are supposed to be really, really big. Uh, we'll see. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. I'm going to keep doing Telos, and I will see you in the next one. See you later, guys.